Hello everyone, today I'm going to start to create a new Helios profile for the long-awaited DCS module MI24P Hind. And my intention is to document the entire process that I follow to create the profile completely from scratch. Many people have asked me on many occasions to prepare some tutorials on the process of building my Helios profiles between one thing and another. I always busy by taking advantage of the opportunity to make this new profile, I decided that is what the right time to do it. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you that I have incorporated a new section on my website dedicated to this purpose. You can find it in the main menu and it's uh, called Doing Yourself Profiles. Once you open the, the tutorial, you can navigate across all the pages using this uh, little arrows on the corner or even use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To go faster in the process of creating this profile I will only make some reference to the tutorial on the web but you can go back to it as many times as you need and read it more carefully. Anyway before I start I want to show you uh, several things that you need to install in your computer if you want to follow the process I do to create the profiles. In this page, you have all the tools you are going to need. As you can see, of course, we need the Helios Virtual Cockpit program because it's here where we made all our profiles. I use as well Notepad++ as a text editor. If a view is a a good image viewer because almost all the images on DCS are DDS files and it's not easy to open those files without other programs. Another thing that I use a lot is Witchcraft. is this uh, tool that you can download and install from here. It's a very good tool to know the state of all the values in real time so you can compare or you can check uh, if everything is correct or everything is like is supposed to be okay it's a very good tool of course we need DCS world the DCS model viewer this is a tool that I use a lot you can see later in the video and of course we are going to need some kind of pine program to do our art job to prepare instrument lamps switches and this kind of things anyway the tool that you use need to be DDS format compatible because all the images that uh, DCS use are DDS format. And in case you use Photoshop, you can download the Intel Texture Works plugin for Photoshop and this lets you load DDS format images in Photoshop. And another thing that is very useful is these two things I put over there. The first one is the is a template of the script that you need to create when we create a new profile using the generic interface in Helios. And another thing that I put in, in the web is this already done profile where you have all the lamps, button, axes already prepared. So you only need to copy these components and put it in your profile. So you don't really need to create all this thing from zero. Well, let's get started. The first thing we need to know is the internal name of the airplane inside DCS. Uh, to know that, we need to run a mission, any mission, and then check the DCS log to see uh, the internal name. Um, usually you got over there the name of the, of the airplane, but uh, not always is the same name, the one that you can see on the screen and the real one. So uh, I recommend you to check, uh, to check internally the name of the plane. To do that, you need to go to the save games and when you got your DCS, go to the logs folder and open DCS log. And if you go down, you can see uh, Helios Sport give a notice when we change the airplane inside the the game so this is the correct name of the, of the airplane in this case it's exactly the same name as we saw in the screen 
I copy this name and now I am going to create the our, our script I'm going to take it from here I'm going to add this new script to the script folder where we have all the scripts in our uh, DCS uh, folder. I'm going to Elios mod, and over here I'm going to add this new one. This is the one that uh, we use as a template. I'm going to change the name of the file. MI24B and now we can edit and the first thing we are going to do is to change the name we just captured from the log uh, here in the line uh, 43 we have the internal name Elios new airplane dot name and over there we need to put the new name control V and right now we need to change the name of all the variables so uh, to do that we are going to use the same and this is important we are going to, to use the same name we have on the file okay this is important so we are going to change this variable name replace Elios MI24P this is important we need to to do, uh, we need to use the same, exactly the same name we are using over there. Okay. If not, uh, Elios uh, Control Center is going to give us uh, error when we try to uh, to run the profile, uh, replace everything. So right now everything is replaced with the new name. I want to let you know uh, an important thing. When I use the name of the file and the name of the variables, I don't use that symbol, like in the actual name of the airplane. This is because it's the representation of the subtraction in uh, the Lua uh, system. So if I use uh, this symbol, as you can see, uh, this changed the color because this is the subtraction symbol so I can I cannot use uh, this one okay this is important well once we got this I can save it and now I am going to do another thing uh, we need to go to Helios and over there we are going to add this new module to the list of modules so I need to edit this file and now if you go down you can see a list of all the modules that we have right now installed so I need to add a new line in this uh, in this uh, table and this one is going to be the MI24P and the name of the file is going to be MI24P okay uh, I save this file and one thing that we need to take in consideration this when we change that file every time we open the control center this is going to give us an error saying that uh, we are not using the the actual Helios Sport 16 so to avoid this problem we are going to get this file I'm going to copy and you can go to the Helios folder where you got your Helios uh, installation and in in documents and if you go to and you need to go to this folder uh, folder skip in case you don't have this folder you can create you can create this folder inside you need another one a uh, Helios folder and inside uh, you can copy the just change it uh, file okay we do that Helios is going to to use that one as a as a actual file and not the original one so with this uh, we are not going to have any problem with our new uh, module 
for the 20 for the mi24 because we already got it over there so once we got uh, the changes done in the in the script we are ready to start to create our profile so let's start the your profile editor okay uh, the first thing we need to do is to add the interface uh, add interface we are going to use the generic one if yes generic add uh, over there we need to change the module format we are going to change to captain module version one for generic interface and over there we need to put the name of the airplane as you can see over there we don't have the mi 24p right now so we need to put it by hand and in that moment you need to be care okay you need to save it but you need to be sure that this uh, name is already uh, over there once you uh, save it, open it again and check it as you can see it's not here anymore this is very important because uh, Elios is going to give you problem, uh, problems if you do, don't do this uh, comprobation um, you need to be sure that the, the name is over there Okay. so to do that you put it and once you got it over there if you open here then you got it you can select it and now save it profile open again just to check it and now as you can see the name is correct this is very important if you don't do Helios is going to crash when you open the profile all right well, later we are going to put over there the, the script file that we are using to put all the elements on the MI24P. But at the moment, don't do anything here because if by mistake you set up the profile, you can lose all the changes you did on your on your module, module script. So at the moment don't fill this this space okay when you got your profile finished and you want to publish then you can put over there the name of the of your script so the script is going to be in embedded on the profile so if someone is going to use your profile the profile is uh, going to install the script in his computer but for the moment you don't need it okay so just to be sure that this is working i am going to put just a uh, image over there anti anti image just to know if, if this thing is working or not profile save it and let's see if this thing work uh, 24 start okay here we got our first attempt to do a profile just a red square with a black cross well it's a good start stop okay in that moment we have our scripts already and we have our profile for the mi24p but well we need to fill all our script and our profile with data from the cs and this is the process we are going to see in my next video but first, I am going to close everything. So, see you later.